everyone, this is YouTube Media. In this video, we're going to be unboxing and taking a quick look at the Radeon HD 5870 Ifinity 6 Edition graphics card. This is made by Sapphire. It's 2 gigabytes of GDDR5, and it's an ATI card. Now, let me warn you real quick, this is going to be an uncut video. I normally spend hours editing the videos, making them perfect, but maybe you'll like the more natural feel. Now, if you don't know much about graphics card or the ATI series, let me update you real quick. Hopefully, you don't get confused. There's a lot of information. The 5870s are basically the most powerful cards um, made by ATI on the market right now, ATI on the market right now as of 2010, along with the 5970s. They both came out in about 2009, September 2009, but this Ifinity 6 edition just came out in March 2010. Now, um, then there is a new series that just came out, which is the 6870s, but those are not more powerful than the 5870s. Those are kind of like a teaser trailer until the official replacement of the 5870s comes out in 2011. And that replacement is the 6970s. Those are going to be much faster than this. Um, but right now, the 5870s are more powerful than the 6870s. And uh, the 58 series and the 59 series are the most powerful, basically. Um, let me give you some quick specs real quick. So compared to the 6870s, this one has 1,600 stream processing units. The 6870 has 1,100. This has 4.8 gigabytes per second. The 6870 has 4.4 gigabytes per second. This also has 1200 millihertz of uh, effective memory clock. Um, uh, the uh, 6870 only has 1100. This holds up to six monitors, as you can see on the box right there. Um, but the 6870s only do about two. So, yeah, there is a lot of um, differences and better uh, features on the 5870s and 5970s. So, let's go ahead and just open this up. Um, I already cut that. Alright, so again, but it's very, very debatable depending on the brand, the amount of video RAM you have. You can argue it all, but generally right now, 2011, I mean 2010, the 5870s and 5970s are the most powerful cards on ATI. So we got this, whatever's in there. I think this is the card. This is going to be a monster. Alright, nothing else in this box. Okay. So here it is. Voila. Woo. Look at that. There's a close up the Sapphire Ifinity 6 Edition ATI Radeon. I guess that's the chip. Six ports again. You can attach six monitors. I will never use that many in my life. Maybe three at the most, but I wanted something powerful. I thought if I'm going to buy a graphics card, I'll go all out. Spent money on this one. Um, Let's see, there's your PSU stuff or whatever. So there it is, the graphics card. It's pretty big, about 13 inches. You're never going to see something like that on a standard consumer desktop. This is just for gaming. Okay, so these are all our accessories. You have HDMI ports, uh, display ports, PCI Express, your cords to hook up to power and stuff, mounting stuff, I guess, software, more cords. Yeah, and that's about it for those accessories. That's all to hook it up, different options. So again, this is the Sapphire Radeon. I got it from Newegg. Um, it normally costs about $400. I got it for $320 after a bunch of rebates and coupons. Now, um, the reason I didn't wait till the 6970s, which are coming out in a few months, is because those are going to be very expensive. They're brand new. So I thought, why not get this, because this is going to be a lot cheaper and more affordable since they're um, older and they're still very powerful. Um, so yeah, if you're looking, I got it from Newegg again, if you're looking for a good graphics card, uh, I don't know, even know what I'm saying. Like I said, this is an uncut video. So I'm going to go ahead and go. We're going to be using this on my rig um, when I build my new computer. I don't expect to ever have a lag again um, with video editing. This is going to be excellent performance. So make sure to check out all the links in the video description below. And uh, thanks for watching.